Hey guys, today we are checking out the AMD Geode NX Socket A processor. We will find out what this CPU is all about, we got some benchmarks, we will talk about power draw and discuss compatibility with motherboards. In the background today we have the Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed running on this AMD Geode NX system with a GeForce 2 GDS at 1280x960 resolution. You can find the full system specs um, that we used for this video down below in the video description. So I only recently learned about these AMD Geode processors. I was browsing eBay like I do quite often and found a listing for an ASRock Socket A motherboard. I went to the website, had a look at the specs and the CPU support. This is something I usually do before buying a motherboard of eBay. And when I had a look at the CPU support list, I saw these two NX processors listed. There was a 1500 running at 1000 MHz and there was a 1750 running at 1400 MHz. So I did a bit of research and it turns out that AMD had a couple of geode processors, the GX1 and L1. They are system on a chip microprocessors for the embedded computing market. But the interesting CPUs for us are the Geode NX. These are very similar to the Athlon XPM with the Thoroughbred Core, which are processors for laptops. There are three models. We've got the NX 1250 running at 667 MHz. We've got the NX 1500 running at 1000 MHz. Both of these have a TDP of 6 watts. And finally, the processor that we're using today is the NX 1750, which runs at 1400 MHz with a 14 watt TDP. These Geode NX processors have an unlocked multiplier. Now GPU said had a bit of trouble identifying this processor. It doesn't detect it as a Geode, but as an Athlon XPM, which is close enough. We will look at the performance figures in a moment, but the real highlight is the low power consumption. If we have a look at other socket A processors, for example, the Thunderbird running at 1.4 GHz, that chip consumes 72 watts. And even the newer uh, Thoroughbred consumes 49 watts still. So having a TDP of just 14 watts is a real highlight. And that's less than most of your Pentium 3 processors, for example. So let's check out some benchmarks. We've got the Asus A7V266E motherboard, which has a chipset from VIA, the KT266A, and a processor, the Athlon running at one gigahertz. So slightly uh, slower processor, so this is not an apples for apples comparison, but it gives you enough information so you can kinda see where this uh, geode processor ends up. And we have some charts here, and you can see that under Windows, depending on what test it is, um, we can see quite a difference, but in some uh, benchmark but in some benchmarks, the difference is not that great. We also have some results for DOS and in general, MS-DOS uh, benchmarks a lot better with higher clock speed. So, and yep, being clocked 400 megahertz uh, higher, we can see the Geode NX uh, doing a lot better in MS-DOS. So in terms of performance and power consumption, things are looking really good. But before you rush out and hunt down one of these AMD Geode NX processors, we have to talk about motherboard compatibility. It seems that the main chipset that supports these processors are from SIS. This ASRock board is so far the only motherboard I came across that has official support for this CPU. It gets detected correctly in the BIOS and the correct voltage of around 1.25 volts gets applied. I also had luck using this processor in a motherboard that supports the thoroughbred range of CPUs. Recently, we reviewed a Gigabyte Socket A motherboard and the chip got detected as an Athlon XPM, but ran with a slightly higher voltage of 1.4 volt. Now you can use software and have a go at changing the voltage and the multiplier this way, but this isn't guaranteed. So I can't really tell you if this chip is gonna work in your motherboard. You really just have to install it and see what happens. If your motherboard has voltage controls in the BIOS, then this should help you dial in the 1.2 volts for the Geode NX1750. Now, if your motherboard has no support for the thoroughbred processors, they might not even turn on. I had this issue with the MSI K70266 Pro 2. After turning the PC on, it would output an alarm tone and refuse to continue. So to wrap up this processor, potentially if your motherboard has full support, this could be a real game changer and a great substitute for an Athlon or Athlon XP CPU uh, used in a Windows 98 or DOS retro gaming PC. 
especially if you're building a Thunderbird 1.4 gigahertz machine, you will know about the challenges of finding a decent power supply that has enough current on the 5 volt rail. Well, with the AMD Geode NX, this isn't an issue. I used a standard modern deep cool power supply, which has a rating of 17 amps on the 5 volt rail, and it worked perfectly fine. It is the compatibility with your motherboard and BIOS which makes or breaks this processor. At worst it won't even turn on and most likely it will get detected as an Athlon XPM and you've got to use the BIOS or software to change the voltage and maybe even the multiplier. The unlocked multiplier lets you slow down the CPU down to 300 MHz so this might give us a new option for running speed sensitive software and if this sounds like an interesting project let me know I might look into this in a future video. And that's it for today. If you got any comments or feedback, leave them down below in the comment section. Always looking forward to hearing from you. If you found it useful and you want to see more content like it, why not subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click on that notification bell and give it a like. Thank you for watching and I shall see you soon with another one.